We're now ready to put our rows together. So we've got our rows. This is our first row, our second row, our third row, and so on and so on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this first row. We're gonna open them up. And this is going left to right. So this will be my far left. And then that will be my last block of this row. So I've taken these. Now I know these are 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And I want sashing in between. And I'm using the same sashing that I used in the part of the squares. So I'm taking a two and a half inch strip of this same background fabric and I'm putting them, put this stack to my left, pull my first square out. I'll take this sashing, put it right sides together. And because this square is 12 and a half inches square, this strip needs to be 12 and a half inches. So I've got two and a half by 12 and a half inch strip. And then I'm gonna sew it all the way down this side. I'm gonna do that all the way until I get to the last one. I don't need an outside strip on the last one because I'll do one big long strip when it comes to that one. So I'm just gonna do this. The left side won't have a strip and the very last one won't have a strip on the right side. And I'm gonna sew all these strips in between here for this stack. I'm gonna fold this stack back up. I'm gonna go to the next stack until I have all of these stacks sashed. And then we will come back and put the top and the bottom on, and then we're ready to quilt it. that flat and then I'll pick my next square because there's no top or bottom to these squares you don't have to worry about it being upside down or sideways they're all the same just make sure you've got this lined up open and move to the next block. I've sewn one row so I can show you what I'm talking about. This side does not have a sash because I'll do one big long sash all the way down that side of the quilt. Then I've got a sash, a square, a sash, a square, a sash, square sash, square sash, square. This side won't have one because I'll do a long sash all the way down that side. So this is what I'm gonna do. Now this on all these rows is what I'm gonna do. So this row I'm gonna fold up and I'm gonna put it to the side because that's my last row. So, or my first row. So that one's done. I'm putting it to the side. I'm grabbing my next row and I'm gonna get started the same thing I did with that row, I'm doing with this row. And I'm not sewing my rows together yet. Remember we did the design wall over here and we looked at it on there. Well, if I sew my rows together now, that's it, they're sewn together. I can rip it apart if I don't like it, but I don't wanna to have to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm doing row after row after row after row, not sewing the rows to each other because I can do these rows and sew them all to the state like this where they're all put together. And then I can lay it out again. That gives me one more chance to look and see, yeah, I like that color lineup or no, I don't. If I don't, I could just switch some of the rows and put them above each other on the next one or below it or whatever if I don't like the layout. I think I probably will, but just in case, I wanna give myself one more chance to look at it again and decide if I like the layout. So I'm not sewing my rows together. 
I'm just sewing each row separately, putting them in a stack. Then I'll come back, lay it out and decide what I want to do from there. If I want to sew the rows together or if I want to move one or two or three. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to come back to you when I get all my rows done and then I'll show you how to sash in between the rows. So I'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm back and I've got my rows sewn together. All of my rows are sewn together like this with the sashing in between them. So I am taking them now one at a time. And this right here is my first and second row. I have cut a bunch of strips that are width of fabric two and a half inches, just like the sashing in between these squares. I'm gonna do one across the top and the bottom. So what I've done is I've taken the strips and I'm sewing two of them together, just like we do binding, where you take one like this and you open the other one up and sew it right sides together at the angle like that and you'll stitch across here to here, diagonally across, just like when we're making binding. So we'll attach those and then there'll be one piece of fabric that's long enough to go the quilt. You'll need two strips per row and then if you're doing this quilt this size. Then we're gonna take the two that we've sewn together like that, see that stitch line where I sewed mine together, that diagonal line. So there's my row and I've sewn one strip on it, just like we do the, the other kind where we take the strip and we'll fold it in half, find the center, do the same thing with your quilt row, the blocks of the squares, press it, find the center, open it up and then match those center lines up, pin it from the middle to the left and then pin it from the middle to the right or vice versa, but always start in the middle and pin to one side, start in the middle and pin to the other side. So once you've got all those pinned, you sew them on just like this so that each row now has a top sashing. And then when we put our rows together, the top sashing of this one and the top sashing of this one will meet up and now all of the rows have sashing. The top one already has a top one. The bottom one won't have one. So you'll have to add one to the bottom, just like we did these. Then once all of your rows have sashing, we'll do the sashing down the sides, just like we did across the middle of them. And then once all those sashings are on, we are done with the quilt top. I'll run an iron over it all again and flatten it out. Then I will put it on the long arm. We'll be ready to quilt it. And we're just about done with this project. Quilting, it's gonna take a little bit, but the quilt top itself is just about done. So all this work is about to be to the point of we can use it and enjoy it. So let's keep going, sewing those sashings on and then when we come back, we will have our quilt top done. We've got our quilt top ready and we are going to take it to the long arm and start quilting it.
we've got our quilt top quilted, our next step will be to square it up. We're gonna square it up just like we did in the video from the other day. So we will square it up and then we'll be ready to bind it. Binding it will be another day, maybe tomorrow, but we will bind it very soon so that we can have this quilt completed and ready to use. So until next time, you guys have a great afternoon. Enjoy whatever you're doing and happy quilting.